Good day guys and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'll show you how to use FS Pro Direct. So before we proceed, I'll share if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment in the comment section, share this video, and also contact us for some collaborations for the description of this video. So guys, let's proceed. So now first, all you have to do now is to head over to your FS Pro. So now your dashboard will successfully load. So now first let's head over to our home section. Let's start from there. So at the top of your screen now, tap on it, you see your profile settings. Okay. Now your profile settings, you see your profile settings, profile settings and documents you can upload, document, manage bank details and close your account. On trading settings, now you can quickly configure trading settings, okay, to your preference. On security settings, you can quickly change your password, add a two-step verification, past code and touch ID. On appearance, you can quickly add, change your language, your default color mode, okay, and haptic feedback. On notification, you can quickly enable not push notifications or emails. On legal information, you can read more information regarding this FS Pro platform, okay. FS Pro application, so you can take through a tour that will help you understand this platform better if you need further assistance on live support you can quickly contact the live support for more assistance or you can log out from your account so now on this your home you can see your balance okay you can see your pending withdrawals you can see your transaction history okay so now here's my transaction history my deposit and withdrawals so now you can quickly tap on withdraw to read and make a withdrawal you can transfer from one with account to another you want real account to another okay you can add funds to your account okay so now okay so now you can see your trading your account your real your real account and your demo account okay for your real account to activate you just make sure you complete the documentation documentation and fund your account you can also create, a, create an additional real account okay and you can also create an additional demo account okay so now the next thing now we are done with this home section if we come over this front section is just depositing okay you can select any method you like to use to deposit and proceed to continue okay so now on your profile section now on your trade section and so on your trade section now you will see at the top of your screen now you can just come over and select the account which you like to use to trade your demo or your real account okay you select okay so now after selecting now um after selecting at the start side of your screen, you will see your account you are using to trade your equity, your margin, your leverage, and everything. So now, um, after this, now you will see. Also, I want to show you something on your home section. Now, if you tap on any of your real or your demo account, you can tap on the account, then tap on settings. On these settings, you can proceed to edit um this account leverage. Okay, okay, and see your account information okay if your account is activated just tap on the settings and you'll be able to see your okay your and meta trader five login credentials okay so now um now i'm back to the trade section okay on this trade section on this code sections you see instruments or let me say assets which you can trade you'll see the popular assets or popular instruments you can filter this between your favorite which are favorited the current ones that are active which the market are currently when you can see forex stocks metals futures cryptos etfs sports and many more okay so now um the next thing now if you come over to like your trade you're able to see your trade okay let me first quickly just let me say i want to buy or sell you just tap on the middle of any of this then proceed to now you see your charts okay on your charts now you can tap on this zoom icon at the you see on this favorite you can favorite this with this star you see this box below you tap on it to um, expand this chart now you can now see your 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 time frame your one now you can change your time frame you can add change your charts type add indicators to your charts okay all these at the side at the left hand side are tools which you can use to create better okay you just select it you add trend lines you can add patterns okay you can add projections Okay. you can use brushes arrows shapes you can add sets you can add emojis 
and many more you can delete something that's already on the chart with this does being and a lot more okay once you are done with your analysis you cannot tap on buy or sell let's say i want to buy i just tap on buy okay if you tap on buy want to buy just tap on more settings you can enter your stake profit or stop loss you can select if you want like to use market order limit order stop order or say that you enter your lot size okay your trading size in lots then tap on confirm buy or sell okay so now okay so that's basically it now once you are done buying or selling if you come to your trades you can see your trades your trades okay there are my trades your profit and loss and everything on your history you can see your trading history okay so now on your calendar now if you come to your calendar you can see um current events okay today okay you can see for tomorrow okay as you can see you can see ne next week and next 10 days are many more on your profile now if you tap on your profile you can see we have talked about this already so guys that's just basically it's on everything you need to know on using this platform okay please don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment in the comment section share this video and also contact us for some collaborations for the description of this video so guys thanks for watching and have a lovely day stay safe and i love you Peace.